I say you cannot judge a book by its cover when it comes to evil. It's horrifying. A gruesome scene. Large blades, seven inches long. An enormous amount of blood. Who did this? The grieving, one week after the murder of two Dartmouth College professors. The most unlikely victims you can imagine, suddenly butchered in their home. That's frightening. Police say they don't know who killed them or why. We all felt something ominous in that town. Investigators had clear evidence. Unbelievable. The suspects were now two high school kids. Our hope and belief is that they didn't do this. An absolute mystery to everyone is what the motive could have been. There was no connection. They really wanted to know why this had happened. You cannot judge a book by its cover when it comes to evil. And that's exactly what they were, evil. Very Scary People, hosted by Donnie Wahlberg, returns Sunday, May 2nd at 9 on HLN. 46-year-old George Floyd spent the last minutes of his life begging for one simple thing, <laughs> a breath. <laughs> Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin keeps pressing his knee down on him. Check his pulse. Okay. Check his pulse, Tao. Tao, check his pulse. Tao, check his pulse, bro. Two minutes into the recording, officers call for an ambulance, but Chauvin continues pressing down on Floyd's neck. Floyd is pronounced dead a short time later. The day after Floyd dies, the four officers involved are fired, but the emotional wounds have already been broken wide open. Chauvin will be the only of the four former officers on trial this spring. Chauvin is accused of second-degree unintentional murder and second-degree manslaughter, and now third-degree murder. She's pleaded not guilty, but the first carrying a weight of up to 40 years in prison if convicted. His defense is expected to rely heavily on the argument that he was doing what he was trained to do. And on Floyd's toxicology reports released by the Hennepin County Medical Examiner showing several drugs in his system. The video is enough. There's nothing else to talk about. You can make your judgment off of that because Chauvin showed you he was the judge, the jury, and executioner all at once, right then and there when he took my brother's soul from his body. 